Hey, I'm Kaz Bracey. This is Tuts Plus. Welcome to Figma General and Miscellaneous Tips. You can switch to outline mode in Figma to get a better look at exactly what's going on in your canvas. Now, the shortcut that you use to do this is going to depend on your platform. It's either going to be Command or Control Y, or it'll be Command or Control Shift 3. So for me in a browser on Linux, it's Command Shift 3. Then that shows me the outlines of everything that I'm working with. Throughout the series of Figma tips, I've mentioned a couple of times that there are different shortcuts depending on what your platform is. When you're looking up information on how to use the program, you might see a shortcut that's not for your platform. So what you can do to find out what the shortcuts are that are going to work for you is go down to this little question mark at the bottom right of the screen, click that, and then choose shortcuts, and you'll see all the shortcuts that are relevant to you. And don't forget to hit the see all link at the bottom here so you can see everything that's included. Nudging is something that you use a lot when you're working with Figma. Generally speaking, you use it to move things around. So for example, if I select this frame, I can nudge it in small amounts with my arrow keys, or I can hold down shift and nudge it in larger amounts. I can actually customize how far an item is going to move when I use either the small or the large nudge. So what I can do is go up to the menu, go to preferences, and then go to nudge amount. And I'm going to exaggerate this so you can see it as clearly as possible. I'm going to increase the small nudge to 10 and the big nudge to 100. So now my small nudge is pretty big and my big nudge is huge. So that's three quick general and miscellaneous tips for working with Figma. Thank you very much for watching this video and watching our whole quick tip series on Figma. And I will see you in the next one.